Yesterday I was reading this verse in Psalm 127 verses 4 and 5. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. And I was thinking about that and I was thinking about how an arrow is sent out with a purpose to meet its mark. An arrow is so useful. It goes ahead. And I thought of the weaver children. I thought they are so useful. They're so helpful. Just imagine if I was sick and hungry and Mike and Sue would send out the weaver children to come and help me, to make me food and and clean my house. I think they even know how to make pickles. They're so useful. They're sent out with a purpose. But then I was thinking it goes beyond just our ch- our children because each of us are children of someone, right? So I'm an arrow. My brothers and sisters are arrows. You, my brothers and sisters, are arrows. And our warrior king sends us out just where he wants us to be useful and purposeful just where he wants us. And then I was thinking of arrows and how they need to be formed so carefully so that they can be useful. It needs to be straight. It has the shaft in in the middle. It needs to be straight. It has the fletching, the feathers on the arrow at the end of the arrow and the fletching um, makes it stable and accurate in flight. It, It makes it twirl like a football. And those feathers need to be at the right place and they need to be um, repaired. And so I was, I was thinking that this time when a lot of us are um, staying in our homes a lot more, maybe sheltering in place, limiting what we do outside, this is time for the Lord to strengthen us as arrows to make us more stable and accurate for what's ahead to straighten out to make us straight so that we um, will be able to to be useful and purposeful during this time let us fix our eyes on Jesus like Alita said he's the perfecter of our faith he's the perfecter and we need that Let his word teach us in this time. Let it rebuke us in this time. Let it correct us in this time. Let it train us in righteousness at this time so that we may be thoroughly equipped for every good work so that we may be useful when he sends us out. Today, Jermaine has an encouraging message about consecrating ourselves and removing anything that hinders our connection with God so that we can stand against our enemies. When Joshua and the Israelites conquered Jericho, the gold, silver, bronze, and iron they found within were taken and devoted to the Lord. But one man took some for himself, and the Lord rebuked them for this and said, you need to take that back and give it back to me. Hello, church. Hope you guys are doing all right. Um, So I'm going to be coming from Joshua, Uh, chapter 7 verse 13 and it says go consecrate the people tell them consecrate yourselves in preparation for tomorrow for this is what the Lord the God of Israel says there are devoted things among you Israel you cannot stand against your enemies until you remove them so I decided to look up the word consecrate and that means to make or declare sacred and then I took it one step further and I looked up the word sacred and that means connected with God or or dedicated to a purpose. So um, I really wanted to focus on the the end of the verse where it says, you cannot stand against your enemies until you remove them. So um, enemies are all around us, Um, but enemies aren't always people. Um, Enemies can be situations, they can be struggles, just whatever. So um, we have to be intent with moving these things out uh we cannot do it by ourselves we have to rely on god and our church family to help see us through 
our church has um, sort of become like a hub. Um, we've been attracting all types of people. Um, and if we're honest, at some point, those people could have been very easily considered enemies. So in this time, especially with all the craziness going on, uh, we need to be praying for the praying for people, praying for ourselves, you know, praying for a provision for our church, praying for just that God just comes in and uh, removes all their neg negativity out. Um, also, um, I think God has already started to like build up our church, like with all of the different like training programs, the small groups, the stuff that happens on the parking lot. He's already preparing our church um, for things to be removed. And then um, he's already in those things are preparing us to uh, like stand up against things that we consider to be our enemies. Um, so in this time, um, I just wanted to send like some words of encouragement to you guys and um, to keep praying and keep staying uh, heavily in the, in the word. And that's our best tool, you know, so uh, we have to use that to our advantage. Um, you guys have a good day.